Hello guys, welcome to KP Classes. My name is Virender and today we are here to talk about solutions or probable answers of the questions which has come in assistant hydrogeologist exam. Okay, and this exam was conducted on 2nd April. Okay, and here there were 70 posts for assistant hydrogeologist and 9 posts for assistant geologist and there was one post for scientist C also and there were some posts for junior mining geologist also. Okay. So let's start with the solution part and before going further and those students who are not subscribing our channel yet please subscribe us and do support us guys. So let's start with the solution and here I am having the set A with me and in exam there are four sets set A, set B, set C, set D and questions are same in every set but the arrangement of the questions is different so you guys can match your answers according to your sets okay so let's start so here the first question given here is which one of the following pairs regarding weathering is not correctly matched so here we have to check which is wrong okay so first option here is hydration so hydration occurs when minerals absorb water molecules yes this is correct so that is our hydration when the minerals are gaining water molecules okay now the second option given here is oxidation it occurs when an atom or an ion gains an electron no this is wrong oxidation is when an atom or an ion loses an electron so this is wrong so this is not correctly matched so our answer is B. B is our answer here. B is my right answer to the question 1. Now let's move to the second question. So second question here given is the mean age of the oceanic floor is approximately. So mean age of the oceanic floor is 64 million year. Okay. So here the answer is 60. So B is my right answer here. So if you guys do not know the answer of this one, you know that the oldest oceanic plate is oceanic crust floor is in Pacific. That is around 160 to 180 million year old. So 230 is never going to be the answer and 20 is also never going to be the answer. So you are left with only two options 60 and 80. So you could have reached nearer to the answer if you did not know it also. Okay. So next question is according to Aries hypothesis, if the thickness of the crystal column is doubled the mountain heights may increase approximately why so this question is again simple you just have to take a column calculate it then increase its thickness by 2 then also calculate find the ratio then find the percentage you will come to know that its answer is 40 percent okay so 40 percent is our right answer here okay guys so this is so first question option B, second question option B, third question also option B. Now let's come to the fourth question. Here we have to match volcano types with the characteristics. Okay. So let's read the characteristics. So while reading the characteristics, we can tell them which kind of a volcano it is going to be. So first characteristic here written is as also written as also known as composite volcano. So we know that the strato volcanoes are also known as composite volcanoes. So let's find the option. So C is matching with one. Okay. Now next is has shape of a flattened dome. So dome. So dome word they are giving. If you do not know then there is a lava dome volcano. Okay, so you do not have to guess it even here. So two words are matching here. Okay, so this is lava dome. So D is with two. So if you see D is matching with two option A and B is with us. Then C is with one. So C is with one. So option B is going to be your right answer. So far we have done four questions. All are them are having B answer. Okay. Now let's move to the next question here. We have to ma match. We have to match bed forms in sandy alluvial channel with the fraud number. Okay, so here we have to compare them with the fraud number. And if you know that fraud number for dunes is very, very large, okay, it is greater than one. Okay, so basically fraud number value it's greater than greater than one or less than less than one. Okay, for dunes it is greater than greater than one, and for ripples 
it is less than less than one okay so if you know these two then also we can do that okay and for wash dot dune it is going to be equal to one and for plain bed it is greater than one so let's match so here ripples ripples i have told you that it is less than less than one so uh, d is with one so d is matching with one now dunes with superimposed ripples it is greater than greater than one okay so we have a with three so a is with three so we have shortlisted two options and ripples f one so again we have to do one more so wash dot dune f is equal to one so b is with four b is the so no 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 a planar bed is f is equal to one so planar beds are f with f is equal to one so wash dot dunes are going to be this one so b is with two so c is my right answer now option has changed okay so previously we were getting only b now here the c is my right answer next question here we have to find which of the following pair is not correctly matched the first was is nunatak it is a unglaciated island of bedrock formerly or currently surrounded by ice this is right okay now circ circs are steep shaped bowl bowl shaped basins which are getting formed so the, here it is given steep walled semi circular basins in mountain glaciers this is right then coal coal is narrow sharp edged range in mountain glaciers this is wrong so our answer here is c now next question we are having the lateral unsaturated flow of water in the soil zone which where a highly permeable geological unit overlays a less permeable ge geological unit is termed as through flow they are just asking you the direct definitions okay so its answer is through flow so option d is my right answer next question the void ratio of the solid mass is defined as volume of solid divided by volume of volume of voids divided by volume of solids vv by vs next here we are having which one of the following pair is not correctly matched so basically in this paper i have seen that they are checking your whole of the knowledge okay so if you know a simple one or two things you are you cannot answer so here here you need to have the idea of all the options then only you can answer okay so here annular drainage developed on eroded dome in alternate resistant or weak sediments this is right then parallel drainage developed on horizontal sediments or homogeneous crystalline rocks this is wrong okay so b is my right answer here again let's move forward along which one of the following plate boundaries the movement moving plate grind past each other without producing or destroying lithosphere that is transform fault so B, c is my right answer here next stress that is generated due to the weight of the overlying rock column in the earth crust is referred as lithostatic pressure so here we are having c as our right answer so let's move forward so next question here is the separation of a competent layer due to a layer parallel extension is incomplete and shows a narrowing of the segments the structure is termed as so here they are talking about boudinage structures so when when in boudinage structure the incompetent layer is not going to get fractured so it is it, it it will be like this it is saying so this is my incompetent layer this is my incompetent layer now he is saying the separation of the competent layer is also not complete so this is my competent and this is incompetent this is incompetent so many students are having doubt in this question so here this kind of a structure is known as pinch and swell structures so a is my right answer here okay so pinch and swell structure now the next question is over folds have one of the limbs essentially so basically over folds means overturned folds so they have one of the limbs inverted so there b is the right answer so over they are like this both the limbs dips in the same direction so one of the limb is inverted so next is the ocean that gave rise to the birth of the himalayan mountain was tethys mountain c is my right answer here a continental margin 
that forms due to the initial rifting of a continent to develop an ocean later is our passive margin. Fifteenth answer is A. Next, we are having question. The defocused earthquakes commonly originate along. So, if you have given the pre-examination of GSI, then they were asking the uh, shallow focused earthquakes. Okay, so shallow focused earthquakes are associated with transfer faults and mid-ocean ridges. Okay, so if you have studied that one, you will be able to answer this one. So basically, here Benny of Yon is the right answer here. So D is my right answer here. So Benny of Yon, we are having deep focused earthquakes. So next is a major continent that existed before 90 million year ago and comprised present day North America, Greenland, Europe and part of Asia is termed as Laurasia. So D is my right answer here. So next question here is the rocks and sediments that were subducting sometimes gets attached with overriding plates by thrusting this process is commonly called so here all the options are confusing okay so whatever we can understand so we cannot go with any of the option but if i have to choose it goes with off scrapping i will go with off scrapping okay so next is the lithosphere is comprised of upper mantle and crust so here the option is given like this so i have to choose between these options but the lithosphere is comprised of upper part of the upper mantle and the crust. So that was given in the pre-exam where you have to select which is right and which is wrong. So basically we had to select option 1 or 2 or both were right. Okay. So there it was wrong but here there is only one option which is matching here. So that is upper mantle and crust. So we will be going with this one. Next we are having in a hexagonal crystals. There is one and only one direction which shows no double reflection of light. This direction is called optic axis. This is optic axis. So next question is the interference figure produced by uniaxial crystals cut parallel to its optic axis is known as flash figures. Flash figure. So B is my right answer here. Okay. So next is which one of the following is Instruments can be used to distinguish kyanite, sillimanite, and endolocyte XRD. Next, we have to match these things, match mineral examples with the silicate class. Okay, so here we see that phlogophyte is phyllosilicate and enstatite is inosilicate. So we are having two options let's try to answer this with these two options only okay so a is with three so we are left with a and d okay then answer that is one so b b is my right answer a is sorry a is my right answer okay next question is muscovite belongs to which one of the following types of phyllosilicates so here option given are dioctrahedral tot interlayer cation dioctrahedral TOT type. This is right. So, option A is our answer. Next, which one of the following min expression is correct as per notation of the Miller indices? So, A is the right answer here. So, he has used this kind of a notation. So, this is my right answer here. Okay. So, let us move forward. So, question number 26. X solution texture in which the host mineral is of Lejucleus feldspar and the lamellae is of K feldspar composition that is your antiperthite texture. Okay, so right answer here is option B. Now let's move towards the next question. Here we have to match mineral names with their mineral classification. So if you have attempted previous year, no, on not previous this year only questions, there was a same question was there where you have to match them. So there sidrite was given. So if you remember that sidrite is a carbonate and sylvite is a halide. Okay, so here we are having options. A is going with 4. So I think I have we have done a mistake while copy making this slide. So answer here will be A is going with 4 and D is going with 1 and your <coughs> B manganite is hydroxide. B is with 3 and C is going with 2. So this option is right. So while copy pasting I think we have done a mistake here. 
so you guys can match this of these options are going to be the correct one manganite is a hydroxide and citride is a phosphate okay now let's move forward next question number 30 in each crystal class there is a form the face of which intersect all of the crystallographic axes at different length this form is known as general form so b is my right answer here now next is four three fold axes each inclined at 54 degree 44 minutes to the crystallographic axis are characteristic symmetry of which one of the following crystal systems isometric so b is my right answer here now next question calcium CA rich plagioclase breaks down to almost pure albite and epidote during which one of the following deuteric alterations? Saucerization. So, this is my right answer here. Now, next is which one of the following rock is normally expected to have the highest abundance of incompatible trace elements? So, that is granite. So, D is my right answer here. Next, we are having which one of the following magma series is found only in subduction zones? Calc alkyne rocks. Okay. Now, next is average uh, continental crust reservoir is represented by which one of the following RB by SR values of radiogenic parent daughter pairs? So, that is your 0 0.158. And next question is in a rare earth element, Diagram europium and anomaly is seen between which one of the following RE pairs SMGD. So C is my right answer here. So next is which one of the following symbols denote the deviation of the ND isotopic composition of a rock form that of the contractic uniform reservoir that is epsilon. So B is my right answer here. Next in a 238 uranium to 206 lead versus uranium lead ratio diagram the locus of the point having the same edges is known as concordia curve so c is my right answer here so in the atomic structure of silicate melts ca2 plus and mg2 plus ions are categorized as network modifiers okay so they are our network modifiers so next is which one of the following which one of the following mid oceanic ridge basalts is derived from an incompatible element poor mantle that is our normal morb next is which one of the following geochemical reservoir is defined by the nd isotopic composition of chondritic meteoroids dm depleted mantle next we are having which one of the following do not constitute an equilibrium mineral assemblage in our rock Phosphorite and quartz, they are not in equilibrium. Next is in a wave dominated coastline, the correct distribution of environment from the land to sea. So, if you guys have solved previous year 2018 hydrogeologist exam, this question is same. Okay, so they are just copy pasting this question. So, Schirling Yon is the last one. So, here only one option is there. So, C is my right answer. The uppermost part of the subaqueous delta that lies at water depth down to 10 meter or so is, ref is referred to as delta front. D is my right answer here. Okay. The next, which one of the following sequence of sedimentary structure is correct in terms of increasing bed shear? So let's read them. Parting lineations, dune. No, dunes gets formed first. Okay. The first is wrong. Then let's move to the second one. Ripple, dune, parting lineation, fluid mark. That this is right. So B is my correct option here. Next we are having a normal graded bed of sandstone is noticed with fluid cast at its base and internally made up of massive plane laminated and ripple laminated subdivisions in order of superposition. The sandstone bed is interpreted as a product of turbidity crunch. C is my answer here. So next we are having in a carbonate diagenesis, if calcite cement is grow overgrown on a single calcite crystal, in same optical orientation, it is referred to as syntaxial growth, overgrowth. D is the right answer here. Next we are having a carbonate rock that contain almost no mud and shows grain supported framework is named as grainstone. 
नेक्स्ट वी आर हैविंग इन अबेरोवियन जोन ऑफ मेटामोर्फिजम प्रेजेंस ऑफ बायोटाइट क्लोराइड फेंगाइड मस्कोवाइट एंड क्वार्स एल्बाइट असेंबलेज में आप इसका बायोटाइट जोन ओके सो बायोटाइट इज अपीयरिंग आफ्टर क्लोराइड जोन बायोटाइट कम्स सो बायोटाइट इज प्रेजेंट सो इट इज अ बायोटाइट जोन देन व्हिच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक असेंबलेज ऑफ अ ग्रेनुलर फेस इज मेटामोर्फिजम ऑफ मैफिक प्रोटोलिथ सो हियर फर्स्ट इज हॉर्नब्लेंड प्लस प्लेजुक्लेस प्लस क्वार्स प्लस गार्नेट दिस इज रॉन्ग ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट इज फर्स्ट फ्रॉस्टाइट प्लस ऑर्थोपायरोक्सिन प्लस सीपीएक्स प्लस एपिडोट दिस इज आल्सो रॉन्ग सो CPX, OPX, Prejuvious Garnet. Yeah, this is right. So C is my right answer here. Fifty-one. When flattening occurs in rocks that contain rigid grains, zones of relatively low pressure develop on the sides of the crystals that are normal to the maximum compressive strength. These are known as pressure shadows. B is our answer here. Now here we have to again match the following. This question blue cyst we know that blue cyst is a sodic amphibole blue cyst is our sodic amphibole then pseudo tachyte pseudo tachyte is ultra fine grained vitreous rock okay so a is with 2 and b is with 1 so we are having only b option so b is our right option here the next question the presence the presence of calcite dolomite quartz diopside wollastonite k feldspar phosphorus in a regionally metamorphosed rocks under granulate facies so all are carbonate rocks so answer will be carbonate rocks so next is 3 anorthite plus is equal to grassular plus 2 kyanite plus quartz in a reaction which marks the equigonate facies in a metabasic rocks what will be the composition of the grassular it is this one so if you see the reaction this direction is given in the book okay so granoblastic polygonal texture is an example of texture of recrystallization a is right answer next is in a metamorphism of calc silicate rocks which assemblages can be considered equivalent to the sillimanite zone so or anorthite pyroxene this is an equivalent zone the hinge line is a of a fold is a line of maximum curvature okay so here the line of maximum curvature in a folded bed c is my right answer here next is in oceans regional strike slip faults associated with lithospheric plate boundaries are known as transform faults so basically here wrench faults are also strike slip tear faults are also strike slip but he is specifically asking in oceans ocean between plate boundaries so between plate boundaries we have transform faults if we are talking about intra plate fault intra plate then wrench faults or tear faults can be okay now the next is in a fold rock salt has broken through the more brittle overlying rocks and occupied its core the structure is known as diaper fold b is my right answer next is the fault having both dip slip as well as strike slip component that is your oblique slip fault okay so c here is my answer next okay so they are asking about rule of v okay so here let's read the first so we have to check faults according to rules of v the outcrop pattern of a bed which dips upstream forms a v that points upstream okay this is right the outcrop pattern of a horizontal bed forms a v which points upstream yes when this these are exceptions of rule of v so in case of exceptions when it is horizontal it always uh, apex of the v points upstream the outcrop pattern of a vertical beds vertical beds they always say stream they do not apex they do not form apex in any side okay so it is also right so we are left with only one option that is going to be wrong but let's read it the outcrop pattern of a bed that dips down strip with a dip angle less than of a valley slope forms a v pointing down so no it forms a v pointing upstream so they have given the exceptions of the rule of v so d is my right answer here question number 62 okay lineations in the brittle regime forms extension patterns where veins and on shear fractures okay this is right okay lineation in the plastic regime form non penetrative fabric flow yes 
Lineations are closely related to strain and therefore to kinematics. Yes, so all are true. So one, two, and three are right. Next, pure dilation is change in size only. Which one of the following is a chronostatographic unit stage? Which consider the following statements regarding the Parkin and conformity? So we have discussed this two days ago in our class while reading unconformity. So this question has come. It represents a major tectonic cycle. Yes, this is right. It is a synchronous world over. Yes, this is right. It separates strongly deformed metamorphic basement rocks from less deformed. Yes. Okay. It has been chronometrically assigned 2.5 linear age. Yes, this is right. So all are right. Okay. So this is 66. Then we are having 67 question. The permotrizic boundary in the Gondwana supergroup by the in Damodar Valley is demarcated by the transition between Raniganj and Panchet formation. Here is the question. And this we have already discussed while studying unconfirmed. Two days ago, I told you about the stratigraphy of the Gondwana group, and this question also we covered at the day. Next is from radiometric age data, the emplacement of the Nysic rocks in, Nys in the peninsular Nysic complex is la largely constrained between 3.0 to 2.6. B is my right answer here. Next is the exoskeleton of trilobite is made up of chitin. C is the right answer here. Next, in biostatinography, the body of the rock classifies rock classified based on the observed local range of a fossil within a stratigraphy section is known as partial rain zone this is my partial rain zone next is the term biostatinomy deals with the so let's read them the process of decay of soft tissue of organism during fossilization no basically it is after the before the final burial what are the changes happening before the final burial so i can see the d option here the study of the environmental factors that affect a dead organism prior to its, to its final burial so d is my right answer here let's see next question which of the following rock builder larger benthic foraminifera of middle eocene are relatively most abundant along shallow seas of tithis margin numerators B is my right answers. Signore lips. So, like signore lips, they can help us to identify the issue between the first and the last fossil. Okay. So, explains the post burial changes. No taxonomic inconsistency. No problem with the first or the last occurrence. Yes. This, this C option is our right option here. Now, which of the following fossil groups are most commonly preserved in the black shale of lower pelagic area? So, black shale they are using. So, it is going to be graptolite. Next is Stefan Boltzmann law. We have to see the answer. So, here it varies with T raised to power 4. So, this is our answer. Next, we are having the amount of radiant flux in specific wavelengths incident upon a surface per unit area of that surface is known as iridance this is my answer next we are having 77 question the reflected light the the reflected light vibrating in only one place is called polarized light. yes this is right the light reflected from a water body into the field of view of a camera is polarized light yes it is correct next, next one the light from a blue sky is non-polarized because it is reflected from non-metallic particles in the atmosphere. Okay. <clears throat> this is also right. So, here none of the options given are correct. So, either 1 and 2 or 2 and 3. Okay. But I will go with the 1 and 2. But 2 and 3 can also be right. Okay. So, it should be marks to all. Next is in the satellite images when other factors are same. If all the factors are kept same, then we are going to get equal curvature of the earth. So, A is my right answer. Then next is nucleides heavier than 209 BI are produced by which one of the following processes. So, basically it is done by rapid neutron capture and CNO cycle. So, B is my right answer here. Next is the chemical formula of which one of the following minerals can be expressed as a combination of a naphthalene and quartz that is your albite. 
नेक्स्ट इज हेलमो हेलमाइरोलाइसिस रेफर्स टू ए प्रोसेस सो बेसिकली हेयर इट इज रिलेटेड विद द वॉटर सो हेयर ओनली वन ऑप्शन इज गिवन वेयर इट इज रिमूवल ऑफ सम ऑइंस ऑफ रिवर वॉटर टेक्स प्लेस वेन द रिवर एंटर्स द सी सो सी ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट नेक्स्ट इज एटी टू द इनिशियल एटी सेवन एस आर बाई एटी सिक्स एस आर रेशियो ऑफ द अर्थ हैज बीन एस्टिमेटेड फ्रॉम विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मिटोराइड्स so c is my right answer next is which one of the following is a chalcophile element silver next is which one of the following statement regarding geophysical exploration method is not correct okay milligal is a unit of magnetic field no this is not a unit of electric field magnetic field sorry so a is our answer next is which one of the following can be termed as significant geochemical anomaly in mineral exploration so anomaly is when we are getting more value than the expected ones okay so here option here concentration of indicator elements lower than the local threshold no this is wrong the concentration of indicator elements falling within the region threshold no this is wrong the concentration of indicator elements falling within the local threshold no this is also wrong concentration of indicator elements higher than the local yes this is right so d is our answer here next we are again have to match the following okay so here we are given exploration methods and we have to match them with mineral deposits okay, okay guys now here if you see that induced polarization we use it for disseminated one and seismic refraction we use for petroleum one so seismic seismic we all everyone knows that we are using it for petroleum exploration so c is with th two this everyone will say that okay so here c is with two we are left with the two options okay now i have told you about induced polarization also induced polarization disseminated metallic sulfides a is with 3 so we are left with only one option that is d d is our right answer here so next is consider the following statements regarding geophysical exploration for mineral passive method involve measurements of naturally existent fields yes this is right passive method commonly include electrical electromagnetic and seismic service no this is wrong because in case of seismic service we need to have a source which is going to produce the disturbance so that is not going to be a passive one okay that is an active one so only one is right here so option a is correct next we are having consider the following statements regarding the reserve okay so here we have to find so here they have given aluminium content also 25% and density also so just calculate it's 25% then multiply it with the volume you will find this answer 1920 metric tons okay then which one of the following mineral composition pairs is correctly matched so here only so they they have given the right option so we know that magnetite is fe3o4 but they have written it as a fe fe2 but this accounts for fe3 only so option c is right next is which one of the following statements regarding supergene copper deposits is not correct so let's read them the top zone consisting of geoth geothetic or limonitic mass with some clay is gusson this is right the zone of secondary enrichment lies below the groundwater surface where copper content decreases this is also right the supergene enrichment zone gradually merges with the proto yes this is also right next last question last part this is going to be wrong one okay the zone between gusson and ground water surface causes reduction of sulfides hence co content is increased here this is wrong okay this is question number 90 and 91 so let's move backward 89 so i think while making a slide we have missed one question so you guys can mark its answer it is d option d the zone between gusson and ground water surface causes reduction of sulfides hence copper content is increased here okay so next we are having no no here it is given okay so i think we missed this question okay so now this question is consider the following statements regarding porphyry copper deposits 
porphyry copper deposits are characterized by large tonnage and high grade ores no okay because in porphyry copper even the grade is around 1% so that is not a high grade one okay so first is false they generally consist of chalcopyrite pyrite, pyrite molybdenite with concentric mineral zoning yes this is right extensive alteration zones are characterized characteristics of porphyry copper deposits yes this is right so option is 2 and 3 so d option is right next question number 92 where algoma type iron formations are sedimentary units in sequence of submarine volcanic rocks in greenstone beds most commonly of Cambrian age this is wrong this is wrong so let's read this one also superior type iron formation occur in sedimentary basin yes this is right of marine strata of late archean and paleo yes this is right so only two is right c is my right answer next again we have to match the following okay so here oil we are getting from gujarat okay and gas we are getting from rajasthan so b is with one we are having two options c a and d then natural gas is from jaisalmer so d is with a three so this option a is our right answer so mostly we are getting gas from the rajasthan and oil from gujarat or assam okay so but they have given assam only which one of the following is not considered for calculation of rock mass rating in rock mass rating there are six tests but slake durability index is not one of them so this is our right answer here Next, we are having the suitable geological condition required for construction of a dam are resistant and stable bedrock. Yes, this we need. Next, foundation rock with downstream dip. No, we do not need downstream dip. We need upstream dip, but gentle. Foundation rock with gentle upstream dip. Yes, this is right. So, 1 and 3 are going to be your answer. So, C is right answer here. Next, freezing of water in a saturated rock causes tensile stress because the volume increases the soil will behave as a plastic material between plastic limit and liquid limit c is our answer here okay next we are having in which one of the following dams the major portion of the water pressure is transmitted to the abutments or sides of the valley arc dam the brazilian test is used to determine tensile strength Which one of the following is the best condition for tunnel site consideration? Tunnel along the axis of the anticline. Okay, because antique, if we are constructing uh, tunnels along the anticline, because anticline is the strongest portion, so we cannot excavate those portion easily. So, tunnel with the thick horizontal formation is going to be the right answer here. B is my right answer. Consider the following statements regarding geothermal energy. Most areas where this energy is being trapped, tabbed are along or near the plate boundaries. Yes, this is right. Seasonal variations in the earth's surface temperature significantly affect this energy. No, this is wrong. Okay. So, third one, the place on the earth where groundwater circulates. So, if we have marked two wrong, there is only one option, one and three. So, this is my answer. B is answer. We do not have to read all the options and waste our time. Next is carbon dioxide emission from land in entering the oceans make oceanic water acidic. Yes, this is right. So second is not right because it does not make it basic. Help some marine organisms to make their carbonate shells by drawing carbonate from the seawater. Yes, this is right. So option D is our right answer here. So next we are having in coastal areas. Groundwater resource is being threatened by encroachment of salt water because, okay, the fresh water being less dense than the salt water floats over the litter and forms large dense sea body. Yes, this is right. Okay, salt water being dense is available at very shallow depths. No, this is right or wrong. Heavy uh, pumping in coastal areas causes encroachment of salt water. This is right. So, option 1 and 3 are right. Then we are having the organic matter load that is biochemical oxygen demand. 
B is our right answer. Next is which of the following are the requirements for locating epicenters of the earthquake? Time difference data of first arrival of P and S waves on a seismograph station. Yes, this is required. Highest amplitude data from seismograph station. No, we do not need amplitude data because amplitude data we need for magnitude calculation. Okay, but there we are locating epicenter. So two is wrong and there is only one option, one and three. So B is my right answer. Next, paleo seismicity is related to the study of the earthquakes of the geological past through slippage observed in the field along faults. Yes. So paleo means with the history, with the past. Considering the following statements regarding the earth's interior, seismic waves reveal that the average depth of the mantle is about 3100 kilometers. Okay, so basically depth has been revealed by seismic studies. That is correct. But the depth is, they have assigned is 2900 kilometers. So option A is wrong. But next one based on the seismic. So one is given in all the options. There is only one option where one is not given B. So B is going to be your answer. But let's read that based on the seismic wave studies, the concept of the solid inner core and was given by Lehman. Yes, Lehman discontinuity. Now, the sharp contrast from seismological wave velocities below the crust was noticed by Andrija Mohavik, Moho discontinuity. Okay, transfer waves do not propagate in the outer core and hence the interior here is in fluid state. Transfer waves are S waves, so they do not travel from the liquid core. So all these are true. So two, three and four are true. So we are going with B option. Next is consider the following statements regarding Richard scale. It is the first scale to estimate the size of an earthquake by instrument. Yes. It is based on the released energy at the focus of that. Yes. It is based on the maximum amplitude. Okay. It is a magnitude scale. Okay. So it is correct. So it is based on the extent of the damage. No. Fourth is wrong. So if fourth is wrong, then we are left with one, two and three option. C is right answer here. The velocity of seismic waves within the earth ranges from 2 to 13 kilometers. So D is right answer. So which one of the following is a correct order of abundance of dissolved salts in ocean water? So NaCl is greater than MgSO4 is greater than MgCl2. No, MgCl2 is greater than MgSO4. So we are left with this option B and this one. B and D because both MgCl2 is given. So next MgSO4 and CaSO4. Yes, this is right. K2SO4. This is right. So B is our answer here. Okay, K2SO4 is not more than the CaSO4 and MgSO4. Next, zoophycus assemblage is the characteristic echinophasis of which one of the following zones? Bethel zone. Bethyl zone is the right answer. B is our right answer. Which one of the following error results in because of the wind effects in aerial photographic drift? A is our right answer. Next, in GIS database, the location of the meteorological station with respect to the specific land use can be identified by point to polygon method. This is our right answer here. So GPS satellites carry rubidium and cesium atomic clocks that usually have time accuracy of one part. In here, you have to compare them and find. So I have found the answer D. 10 raised to 12 and 10 raised to 13 respectively. Next is passive microwave remote sensing can help in detecting seepage zones, spring falls, soil moisture variations. Yes, it can help us. Water and vegetative vegetation have dielectric constants that are very different from those of yes this is also right so both are a is going to be the answer both are the correct ex explanation okay next we are having consider the following statements regarding specific yield of an aquifer it is the ratio of the volume of the water that after saturation can be drained by gravity to its own volume yes this is right that is typical definition next is its value does not depend upon the grain size its value do depend upon the grain size and shape also okay so second is right wrong okay i am here let's move backward 116 question yeah this one so only one is right so a is our right answer let's move to 117 the intrinsic permeability of the porous medium depends upon the size of the openings through which the fluid moves yes the shape of the opening through which the fluid moves yes so both of them are true so c is my right answer next 
which of the following statements regarding the tds and electrical conductance of the ground water are correct a rapid determination of the tds can be made by measuring the electric conductance of the ground water sample yes okay so if we are having more tds means there are more ions then it is going to conduct more electricity so it will be having high electrical conductance okay so we can measure tds by measuring the electrical conductance the specific conductance is measured in micro siemens per centimeter yes it's its unit the specific conductance decreases with increase in temperature so here this is wrong why because with increase in temperature conductivity increases so specific conductance is also going to increase okay so only one and two are right option Consider the following statements regarding irrigation water. Sodium concentration is important for classifying irrigation water. Yes, this is very important. Why? Because if the amount of the sodium is increasing, then it can react with the soil and it can reduce the permeability of the soil. Okay. So we need do need to monitor the sodium ratio. Okay. Concentration. So next is sodium react with the soil to reduce its permeability. Yes. So both of them are true. So A is our right answer. Next question. Consider the following statements regarding an aquifer composed of unconsolidated material. The resistivity increases with the degree of saturation. No. The resistivity decreases. Okay. Because if the degree of the saturation is increasing, then conductivity is going to increase. The resistivity increases with the with the increase in salinity of groundwater, same, it is also wrong. So both one and two, neither one and two. So D is my right answer here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and solve your paper, check the answer, match your answers and see how many marks you are getting. Or oh, And one more thing I want to add here, if you see the previous year exam of hydrogeologist, okay, in that exam, around 40 questions were from 35 to 40 questions we can say were from hydrogeology. But in this exam, it, this paper is particularly of assistant geologists. Okay, so they have changed, they have merged the paper exam, but they have taken the pattern of only assistant geologists. So do not think the merit is going to be of hydrogeologists. Those number of seats are increased, but the merit is going to be around that is going to be above 180 for general students. Okay, so those who have enjoyed the video, do like and subscribe us. Best of luck for your future exams.